Something else we need to be conscious of these days is online meetings. Some, are, some days I work from home or you have a supplier who says let's have an online meeting, whatever. So I started doing a lot of training programs online during COVID. So that was one classroom that we had. Number one, and I think let's write some of these things down. Be conscious of the distance between your nose and the camera because the other person on the other side sees you according to how the camera sees you. So you can see if I'm here, the camera is here, right? Right. So while I'm, while I'm doing this, I'm talking like this. Sometimes I, I keep it on the desk and I'm like this. It is, yeah, so tell me, right? Now, can you see the distance from my nose to the camera? Now, we don't think it's a problem. But what if, in reality, I come and talk to you like this? So now, upset the same thing, right? Because the person on the other side is seeing you that close. So what have we done then? We have invaded the other person's intimate space. Intimate space is less than 8 inches from you. You don't want people coming into closer than 8 inches to you, ne? You only want family members or really good friends to come into that space. So online also same thing. They may work if we get very close. We have actually invaded that person's personal space. So this is like 8 inches. So you should be more than 8 inches away from the camera. Second one. Ideally, the lighting should be in front of you and from above. This is bad lighting. The light is from behind. This is good. This is really bad because we have not angled the, angled the camera properly, right? Now, you can always see yourself in the camera. And sometimes it's the other way around, right? The, the face is at the top and either is not, not good. You can see the frame no nicely. You can see the frame, right? So, we have to adjust it, right? We also have to think of the angle. This is a, this is a bad angle. This is a good angle, right? So the good angle is where you have the camera slightly above you like that. Then I'm looking up like this. If I have the camera here and I'm looking down, it doesn't look that nice. Plus the camera is seen more of your neck and your chin. So try to do something where you either bring your seat down or you put some books or something and just temporarily raise your laptop so that the camera is at least at eye level, hopefully higher. Sometimes we log in from home, in the background is all your towels and all. Can you see, this background doesn't look too great. And still sometimes you see somebody walking behind you, huh? <laughs> or whatever. So now, now we have learned, right? We have to be conscious of these things. Things happen in, in real life, in real life, right? So when you are doing still online meetings, now the trend has become still, it saves a lot of time, no? Why should we travel, uh, spend money on petrol and whatever and spend so much of time on the road? When you can easily have an online meeting. But you have to have that online meeting thinking about what is the image you want to project. What's the message? What are you trying to communicate? Same thing. So have good lighting. Don't be like in the dark like that. Try to get the angles right. Look at what is the background in your background. What are people going to see? Right? Still it's important what they see, right? Don't have a distracting background. If you have a distracting background, people will look at the background and not you. <laughs> And when you're talking, especially important point tech and nanocotter, look directly at the camera. That's the eye contact. You know why the camera is rooted in? But it's difficult sometimes because the person's face is below that. So if you're looking at the face, you're not making eye contact with the camera. If I'm, this the camera is here, but the face is here. So if I'm looking at the face and talking, that person feels I'm not making eye contact because the camera is here. So especially when you're having saying an important point, don't look at the face, look directly at the camera and speak. Then that person thinks, my gosh, this person is looking right at me. Same thing like making eye contact in a physical world. Be conscious of what you're wearing also. So still be nicely dressed. Be smartly dressed. See, when you're smartly dressed, the other person likes to look at you more, number one. When you're smartly dressed, don't you feel more confident? It's an important meeting. It's a business meeting. You're talking to a supplier, you're talking to a customer, whatever. Be conscious of what you're looking like. Nicely groomed, hair is combed, right? Dress smartly, especially if you do a lot of work online. <laughs>